Welcome back to Civil Everything, guys. You saw the thumbnail. This thing is absolutely phenomenal. And it is also 100% inspired by my good friend, Oscar, from YouTube channel, La Capital. Shout out to you, bro, because this thing is amazing. Let me stop talking about it and let me just show you. Check it out. And everything starts off with these beautiful pieces of meat. And if you are unfamiliar with them, they are short ribs. And as you can see, these are very well marbled. It almost looks like Wagyu, but we all know it's not. Now, birria taco is something that it's cooked for a very long time. So the first thing we gotta do is to put a nice, beautiful sear on it. Because by the time we are done cooking these sous vide, they are just basically gonna completely fall apart. And obviously for that, to put a nice quick sear on it, the best way to do it is with the flamethrower. Nice and quick and the results are perfect every single time. I know they look good enough to eat already, but remember, they are completely raw. To go along with our meat, I'm also going to be adding a little bit of bone marrow. This should give a nice, richy flavor to our broth. And if you know me, bone marrow and myself, we are best friends. Now, the next thing to do is pretty easy. You just got to bag up those beautiful short ribs, followed by a little bit of bone marrow and an incredible marinade, which is all of where the flavor comes from. And to make this marinade is super easy. And here's how. Remember, exact amount and ingredients always on the description down below for you. The first thing I like to do is to prepare my chilies. These are dried guajiro and to use them I first like to cut the top part out and remove all of the seeds. Even though the guajiro chili is not that spicy I definitely recommend you taking it all out. At least to me in the end you will have a better broth. And these are the second dry chilies I'm gonna be using. It is the same exact process and as you can see they are not that hot. Just make sure you remove all of the seeds. The next thing to do is rehydrate them in boiling water. This does not take that long we're talking about anywhere between three to four minutes. And don't even think about throwing that liquid water away. Now the next thing to do is to throw everything into the blender. I started with my tomatoes, followed by white onions, all of the rehydrated chilies we just made, a little bit of that water that was boiled with the chili, then I threw in some salt, garlic powder, ground cinnamon, brown sugar, one chicken bouillon, and finish it off with lime juice. Now there's left to do is to blend it well because by that time your marinade is done. That is how it's easy to make this wonderful marinade. And of course before adding it to the bag don't forget two bay leaves. But hey, we are not done yet. The next thing to do is to make a seasoned oil because we're going to be using this amazing seasoned oil to fry up some tortillas. So into the bowl I throw in a little bit of garlic powder followed by smoked paprika, brown sugar, black pepper, freeze dry oregano and finish it off with one chicken bouillon. Now there's left to do is to mix it well and your spice mix is ready. For the seasoned oil I'm also going to be using a little bit of guajiro chilies. And just like before with the marinade it is the same exact process. Make sure you remove all of the seeds. So into the pan I threw in a little bit of canola oil to make sure that that it's hot enough I like to use the wooden spoon trick and as soon as you see a little bit of these bubbles coming up it's because it's ready but if you like accuracy you are looking at 300 degrees Fahrenheit because the last thing you want to do is burn the spices and as you can see the next thing to do is just fry up those chilies you want to stir them around and fry them up for at least four minutes this should extract most of the flavor once again using that spoon trick you want to make sure that your oil is at 300 degrees Fahrenheit because the last thing you want to do is burn the spices and if your oil is at 300 degrees Fahrenheit it should fry up nicely just like this. Keep it under very low heat and let it simmer for at least five minutes. Once that time is up the only thing left to do is to strain it because your seasoned oil is done. That is as easy as it gets. But now that we have everything ready it's time to go back to our beautiful short rib. After adding our marinade the only thing left to do is to vacuum seal it and get it ready for the water bath. Talking about that I'm cooking them at 185 degrees Fahrenheit for 24 hours. That should make them nice and tender and I can't wait for you to see how awesome this recipe Recipes. The color of that seasoned oil is exactly what you're looking for, everybody. At the same time, you gotta cook everything to nice and tender to make sure that the bone completely comes off. That's why I did it at 185 degrees Fahrenheit for 24 hours. I'm telling you, if the bone is attached to the meat, I'll be surprised, but it is ready and it's time to take it out. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. 
there we have it everybody it smells so fantastic i wish youtube really had smell a vision so that you guys can experience what i'm experiencing did you see how tender it is the bones come completely off at the same time it still holds a little bit of its structure but the smell just absolutely kills me. Now here's the plan. We're gonna be making birria taco. And the way it works is, as you guys saw it, I made the seasoned oil. So I'm gonna dump the tortilla in there, put it on a cast iron skillet with a little bit of this wonderful meat that we just made together, obviously with the juice, and then it's just time to serve with a little bit of cheese, cilantro, and onion. Is there any possibility that this is not gonna be amazing? I don't think so. And don't forget, always with birria taco, you gotta serve a little bit of this juice so that we can dip it. I know it doesn't look that good right now, but watch this. All right, everybody, here we have our beautiful birria tacos. What do you think, Mama? Why the sampler size? Oh, Mama, come on, Mama. It's little street tacos for Mama to give it a try. And if you enjoy it, don't worry, I got the big one too. He tells me to come over. He asked me if I'm hungry, he tells me to come over. And then he gives me appetizers. They saw me actually making a few more, Mama. You just oh, to what, try what it, happened? Mama. What happened with a few more? Yes, well. They didn't make it. Let's not go there. But at the same time, we have other family members in the house. You sure. know who you are. <laughs> okay. Okay. We got, I got more tacos. Don't worry, Mama. I got plenty. Guys, okay. this one actually is good because it gives quite a bit of tacos. Yeah. You know, I only. I did four short ribs. By the way, short ribs in there. Ooh, okay, so it's gonna be good already. I know, right? And there has quite a bit of uh, tacos. You can probably make, I don't know, maybe I made more than 20 tacos, everybody. Okay. All right, so this is how it works. Let me show you. You grab a little taco like this, okay. check it out. This is messy food. This is, you gotta make a mess. It's a taco, it's messy. Yeah, yeah, of course. All right, you grab your little, right here, your little oh. dipping sauce. You know what that is? A lot of fat. Bone marrow, Momo. Oh. <laughs> okay, I'm out. So here you go. Ready for it? So a nice dip. Yeah. Okay. Wow. You know what? I'm excited. You ready, Mama? Yeah. I'm nice ready. dip. And yeah. cheers, Mama. Cheers. cheers, everybody. Mm. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing there, Mama? It's amazing. <laughs> it's amazing. Mm. Mm. So here's the but deal. It's, amazing. it's nice and crunchy, the outer skin. Mm -hmm. The short rib is fall off the bone, as you guys saw it. You bite on it, there is zero resistance and only flavor. It's, it's ridiculous. It's, it's, that's what it is. That's, it's ridiculous. It, that's how good it is. That's the description. Ridiculous. What do you think, Mama? You tell me. What do you think? It's ridiculous. <laughs> Describe to them, if they were here with me, mm. how they can experience this kind of flavor. Because, guys, I recommend this one a million percent. So the only thing that actually has any resistance when you bite is the shell. Yeah, it's crunchy. It has a little, a little bit of crunch. You know why? Because It's you, a soft crunch. Yeah, you, soggy crunch, but soft crunch. It's soft crunch, yeah, yeah. Because it was deep, kind of deep fryer almost, you know, in the mm. oil. That's okay. why I have that little crunchiness. Yeah. So it has a little bit of a crunch, but still very soft and pleasant to bite. And then you get inside of it. The short rib is amazing. Short rib is crazy. Oh, short rib. <laughs> mm. If you guys are gonna do it, make sure you make it a lot because you can just sit down and just <laughs> mow them like a lawnmower. Like, I'm already on the last one. <laughs> And I feel like I'm talking non-stop over here. I know, okay, right? Look, it's almost on the last one too. Look at that. It, it's um, because it's little street tacos. It's three bites and you're done. Mm -hmm. Three bites and you're done. Mm. And the sauce is amazing. When you dip it, everybody, I mean, check that out. You have a little flavor of the bone marrow. You have a little bit of the short rib. And then you can have the taco either with the sauce or without it. And it's two different flavors. Yeah. Like when you add the sauce on it, it adds a little layer of fat to the flavor. <laughs> with all those uh, ingredients that you have over there, 
the f the extra flavor from the from the juices from the bag too. You can tell. Yeah. That's amazing. This is one yes. of the best things you've ever done. I think this, I, I agree with you. I think this is one of the best things I've made in this channel. Mm. That is how good it is. Yeah, that's better? Yeah, now we're talking. Now my mom is happier. Oh my <laughs> God, look at that. Yes, bigger is always better. Well, sometimes. <laughs> Anyway, guys, these are the results. I highly recommend you guys giving this one a try. It's definitely, definitely worth your time and it is worth you tasting something absolutely incredible. If you do enjoy this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe for future videos. Remember, if you are interested in any of the equipment I use, everything is always in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.